Like we said earlier, this isn't just a bear tour. We're getting like a walking tour around the city. We're learning loads of history, seeing so much as well. It's almost like you could come and do this tour first, get a really good feel for the city, see a whole bunch of really important monuments, and get everything you need in one place while trying a lot of beer at the same time. We've done a lot of food tours in different countries, but tonight we finally get to tick off one thing we've been wanting to for so long. Tonight we're doing a beer tour with Beer Prague yeah. and we get to visit loads of different breweries and then we get to try a couple of different Czech snacks yep. and we get to wander through the city of Prague yeah. and... Seems yeah. like the perfect combination, right? It does, yeah. We did so much research to try and find a good company to take us with and Beer Prague just honestly come up absolutely everywhere. So it's about 6pm, we're just waiting, for, uh, just waiting for our guide and then we're going to start this tour. So we've met up with our guide for the day, Vishak. Yes. The first stop was like a three second walk. <laughs> it was literally like right in front of us. <laughs> and what was this place called? Uh, the Newtown Brewery. So the very first thing that we're going to do is actually do a brewery tour and see all of the production and, and sort of see some of the behind the scenes. So the crowd's just waiting for us. We're going to head in now and see what it's all about. So before we do the brewery tour, of course, we actually need to drink some beer. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one. So we've got three different, three different colours. The crazy thing for us is that this and this, the, the lightest and the darkest, are actually both pilsners. 90% of the beers that are consumed in the Czech Republic are actually pilsners. I'm not going to sit here and try all three of them, but the one that I did want to try is definitely this one because I just don't expect it to be so dark. It definitely tastes dark, if that makes sense. Like it, it tastes like it's not a Pilsner as well, so it's even more surprising. It's pretty clear which of the three we like the most. We quite like these like lighter beers, and this one is a middle mix, which is actually just a cut of these two together in the same. This one is even more interesting. I'm so scared. <laughs> Explain what it is. Okay, so this is basically beer shine, which is like moonshine but made from beer it smells so strong apparently it's like 50 percent alcohol <laughs> it is strong that's why he told us to wait until we had the other beer so that we had a chase <laughs> That was a lot stronger than we expected. It actually just tastes almost like tequila. It's insane to think that that goes through the same process <laughs> as beer. The actual building is over 250 years old. They brew the beer uh, only for the consumption of this place only and you cannot get it anywhere else. So it's quite unique beer to drink. So the light malt is for the light beer. The dark malt is the same malt, just roasted. So it's for the dark beer. So I will let you taste. above your head into this gray box which you'll see right here which is the cooler which cools the liquid so it's a rapid change and then it's pumped into one of those five big tanks each of them has 3,000 liters they use computers to actually regulate the temperature uh, so the temperature doesn't oscillate because if it does it's not very good for the beer and it's like 90% of beers we brew, we brew in the Czech Republic are Pilsner Lager type of beer so those, those beers are bottom fermented, so the yeast sinks to the bottom of the tank and that's where the fermentation process starts. So we just finished up about a 20 minute tour there of the brewery. It's so interesting to learn how beer is made, especially because if you've been watching our vlogs for a while, you know <laughs> that we like, we like a beer or two. Absolutely love beer. It's so easy to order a beer, but you sort of forget about what goes into it behind the scenes. Yeah. We did move through quite quickly and it would be really difficult to put all of the history or all the information about how beer is made and brewed into this video but there was one really interesting spot so after we talked up the top about the first phase and we went down into the basement 
And the that second was in the f fermentation room. Fermentation room. And one then of there was a third room. One of them there? looks like it was like almost like a creme brulee on the top. Eh? It, it was actually crazy. looked delicious. Then the third room was quite funny. We could only see it from the outside. We weren't allowed into that one, which is where the brewmaster goes. And the funny, the funny thing about that one is, um, the chef was saying that the the brewmasters, which sounds like it would be a great job. Because you just have to, you just get <laughs> to drink and taste the beers. Yeah. But was it about the the hole? So there's a really small hole that the brewmaster has to be able to climb into because the vats um, need to be cleaned from the inside. <laughs> so he was saying that if you're claustrophobic or if you, you know, aren't keeping in shape or anything, yeah. that job brewmaster's not for you. Which is sort of counterproductive when your job is to drink beer. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. <laughs> we're on our way to our second spot. Uh, we're not even sure what that one is, but I can almost guarantee that there'll be a couple more beers there. just actually stopped off at the uh, Kafka statue which Stacy and I actually went to a few days ago in a couple of videos previously uh, and just seen another statue as well hanging up behind us up there it's almost like you could come and do this tour first get a really good feel for the city see a whole bunch of really important monuments and get everything you need in one place while trying a lot of beer at the same time Without the dying stuff, yeah. So here goes. Okay, it tastes nothing like what it looks like. Really? It just tastes like normal, like pretty standard beer. Yeah, well the others it was almost like there was like hops and then like some were darker, yeah. some were... Dane really should have done the description <laughs> of this. But yeah, it doesn't taste like what it looks like. So this place is a brewery and the brewery itself started, sorry the brand behind the brewery, not this building, started in, 15, in the 1500s. Um, so we've just been given six different beers. Stace has obviously just tried the green one and every single one of them looks completely different. And every single one of them actually tastes completely different as well. And this is the one that's caught our eye as well. It's honey beer, which if you've seen any of our Philippines video, they just put beer, uh, San Miguel, and just dump some honey in it. This is like properly mixed or cut with honey. Yeah, that's like summery. Is it sweet? So, yeah, it is, it is sweet, but the good thing about this, the reason why we've just been told that this is the right way to make mixed or cut beer, no, it's actually mixed, is because it's still beer, you taste beer, and then at the end there's a little bit of a flavor profile where other beers that you can buy, you drink them and it doesn't even taste like beer in the first place. Apparently Czechs are very proud, and if you were ever to drink something like a snake bite, or something else that was like, uh, just had syrup or something added to it, that's not beer. Like they wouldn't accept that. Instead, it needs to be properly made like this. It tastes like beer first, 80%, and then like 20% sweetness. If you're not sure if you like beer, this is definitely the way to go. Getting a tasting paddle like this. Everything from this one, which tastes like really dark, roasted, and malty. This one tastes almost quite watery and flat. Similar to the green one actually, which like Stacey said, doesn't have as much sort of like character or flavor as you would expect. Right down to like this one is more of a traditional Pilsner taste. You've got these that taste like um, sort, of, sort of sweet. Uh, one of those is the honey bear as well. It's just like you actually get the chance to taste so many different flavors and it would help you figure out what type of beer you like. But I've just never seen such an incredible variety with six beers tasting all completely different. So I've just left stop number two on the way to stop three. Definitely a lot of beer, right? A lot of beer, feeling good, 
but we wanted to also mention that at one of the very first stops, um, one of the first things that was said to us was, none of this is enforced, drink as much yeah. or as little as you want. That's, so, a valid, that's a really good point actually. Yeah. So th yeah, th th we're not big for like we just we left a couple there to be honest. Yeah. Like that weren't as good. The you just drink the green one. You drink <laughs> the ones that you like the most. You get to taste yeah. a lot. You can or like some of the people into it. You can just finish everything off, turn it into a massive night out. It's completely up to you. So there's nothing enforced, but it's definitely fun. Stop number three, where we had a stout. Yep. Well, no, sorry, no, sorry, I should say not a stout. It was still considered a uh, like a, a chick beer, but it was dark like a stout, but apparently not a stout. No, but it was flavoured with the herb, and we all had to guess, and apparently it was sage. Um, and then uh, two or three other beers. So the last stop is all you can drink up to a certain time, and I just keep ordering drinks for you. Yeah. And then we had uh, an some IPA. Yeah, um, which is again also not an IPA. So he's sort of making similarities between the beer that we know. Mm. Um, yeah, so this one has a lot of hops basically, which is what the IPA is considered it's to be. It's very florally. Yeah. Honestly, I think I've actually been blown away. You think you're going to do a beer tour and you think you're going to get like little tasters or paddles as they're called. They were, they were decent sizes. We couldn't finish all of ours. No, we'll be honest and say that we've had between 12 and 13, I think. I think I'd quickly counted beers served, and these are like gen generally pretty large sized glasses as well. I was so surprised. <laughs> it was great. So there's some people that are still there right now that are going going hard. Yeah. There's some people that left maybe about an hour ago, and we're sort of in the middle. And it's we're just cool sort of that like you can just kind of do your own thing. Yeah. Decide when you want to like if you want to stay, if you want to go. Beer, food, history. Honestly, it's such an amazing combination. Um, yeah. Don't know what, what more to say. Tomorrow we're going to Poland. Oh yeah, we're going to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the comments. Bye. Bye.